Okay, what, what's going on, dudes? Do, no, it doesn't have a motor. Like, now, what this guy did, let me tell you. Have you ever heard of a Vega Nomad 76 model? Very rare. Not a Nomad. Okay, it's an anniversary edition. That's what this is. This is an anniversary edition Nomad. Now, what we did, we started out with the black one outside first that you're going to be hauling off. And that was unrestorable, so we went to this one here. Now, what we got in here, these are specialty parts. Don't put that box up, Mike, please. That's got the Nomad insignia parts in it. Okay. And then, now, we're going to go ahead and try to put some bumpers in here. Hopefully, I don't know, you know, if we can fit them in there. But we got the glass back here, and he's only got one back glass, which is in between these things, so we don't want to break that. But uh, you're hauling this thing off. Yes, sir. You're the big guy. Now, what's the name of your transportation outfit? Strayer's Hauling and Transport. Strayer's Hauling and Trans uh, Transport. Where are you located, Mike? Pontchartola, Louisiana. Okay, it sounds like you're hauling anything and everything. Yes, you're sir. Trying to get some money and get it done, right? Yes, sir. You pulled in here with a giant trailer. I know that. You're going to haul both these cars off. Yes, sir. And the motors and transmissions. You're not going to leave nothing here that says Vega on it for my friend Pete, right? Hopefully not. I hope not, dude. Now, your truck broke down outside. Let's take a look at that big rig because that's one hell of a trailer there. Uh, you got the mega ramp. Now, are these hydraulics, sir? No, they're spring-loaded. Spring-loaded, okay. And you got the 40-foot trailer. Now, you said you had this trailer custom-built yes. just for your specs. Yes. Is that right? Yes, sir. How's it been treating you? Is Haven't it a moneymaker? So far. That's all that matters, dude. Where are you from, Mike? Pontchartola, Louisiana. Shake a hand, make a friend. My name's Pete. And uh, we're waiting on my buddy Norm to get here. Norm's kind of slow. And what we're going to do is, if you follow me, we're going to go ahead and load the motors up first. Now, where are we going to put those, Mike? Okay, so we got to have that winch to load those, so we got to make sure that the motors aren't in the way. Now, we could load the motors last if you want. If you want to leave a little room up here for them. We can do that. You want to go ahead and do that? Now, I'm just going to warn you, uh, Norm's kind of crazy with the forklift, but I think um, using the chain, he should be okay. Hopefully, he won't hit your truck with his bobcat. Hopefully. So, which one did you want to load up first? You want to load the green one up or the black one? The green one's in the, well, the one mint condition, the black one's the parts car. Put the green one on last, put the black okay. one first. All right, so I guess if you want to pull around, and then uh, we're going to have to figure out, maybe Norm will have to use the spark lift to get that out too. Let's go check it out. So you figured it out. Today's the day. Uh, everything that says Vega on it is leaving my friend Pete's property, and Mike's the guy that's going to do it for us. Now, I'm just letting you know, Mike, uh, this car doesn't have any... Did he tell you that? What? Uh, all the tires are flat. I see this. He did tell you that, right? No. Okay, because I told him that, and he said he was going to tell you. Um, I was willing to go get tires for it so it would roll, but uh, obviously he didn't refer the message. Now, are we going to be able to load this with flats? Yeah. Okay, as long as we can get up there, I don't give a shit if the tires are flat or not. I got 10,000 pound winch. It'll get it up there. There you go, buddy. So, the steering wheel does work. We'll be able to steer it up. This one doesn't have a motor either. Um, as you can see, and I don't even know what he's going to do with this thing, Mike, to be honest with you. Uh, but this guy, when you meet him, he is a Vega freak. He's like the Vega king of the world, dude. So, uh, you said something about the parts, the other parts car, that he wanted to keep that. Uh, Part, the third, about. the third scrap iron one. That's what he talked yeah. about. Yeah, well, I'm glad, you, now you told him that you couldn't load it. Yes, it won't fit. Thank you very much, because we've already scrapped it, it's gone. It's not going to be loaded up. So I guess if you want to swing your trailer around here or back out and then come over here somewhere, we could probably load everything up except the green car. What do you want to do, Mike? I'll pull up this way. Pull her on up, bud. So Mike from Strayers Hauling and Transport all the way from Louisiana. He travels all over the United States. And if you're looking to have anything hauled, it doesn't matter what it is, Mike's the guy that's going to haul it for you. Give him a call.
So he's got this big giant rig, and what happened when he pulled in? Um, he actually uh, lost his power steering, so he's been out in the parking lot out here in 110 degree weather in Texas, uh, rebuilding his power steering gearbox. He had to replace that hydro. Okay, hold on. There you go. Okay, that's good right there, Mike. Thank you. Okay, so he's going to load this up, and uh, when we get him loaded up, hopefully Norm will get here and get him loaded up. I don't know where the fuck Norm is. Hey, Pete, hang on. Yeah, where are you at, Norm? Pete, I'm on my way. Hang on, I got somebody in my car. Hang on. All right, well, hurry up, dude, please. Okay. God. Okay. All right. Hey, Mike. Look what I got for you. Look at that big pallet I got for you, buddy. You can throw that on the front of your trailer if you want. I don't know if that'll fit with the cars. You don't think that'll go up in the front after we load the cars up? And... Not with the motors and all that on there. No, I'm saying you can put the motors on it. Or do you want to just put it straight on the trailer? I'm going to put it right on the plywood I have to know. Okay. Trailer. Sounds great to me. Whatever it takes, Mike. Yes, sir. Whatever it takes, buddy. Hey, what do you think of our GTO we're restoring right here, buddy? What do you think of that? Yeah, project here. You think it's a project? That's a different, pro yeah. different project. I got a car sitting here. Check this out. I was telling you how long that thing's been here, right? This. Yeah. Uh, this one's been sitting in this spot for five years. This is a Mustang GT K code Mustang. It's a '68 model. Uh, and we started restoring. It belongs to a guy in New Jersey. And if he doesn't get his shit together, guess who we're gonna call to come haul it out of here, Mike? I'm ready. Are you ready to go to New Jersey? Oh, I won't take it to New Jersey. I'll well, take it to a scrap yard. Take it to, no, this ain't a scrap car here, bud. It's a Mustang. This ain't a scrap car. This is a collector car. This is a K-Code Mustang, dude. Very yeah. few of them are made. He started building, and then all of a sudden, bam, he gave up. I can't believe it, Mike. The GTO you're looking at back here says the project. We're actually replacing the whole body on that. The body's inside the shop over here. You saw it. Oh, that's that one. That, that's that's okay. the body. So this is a rotted piece of shit. Now, kind of picture this car. Uh, on the Vega job, okay? You see what I'm saying? The Vega, the green Vega in there, basically look like this Vega when we started, dude. Or should I say the GTO? So you see, my friend Pete knows what he's doing over here at SWRC. Yes, sir. All I care about is if Mike knows what he's doing over at Strayers, hauling it to transport. <laughs> get this shit off my property, dude. Yep, we'll get it. Okay, when Norm gets there, we're gonna get her loaded up. All right, hell, well, I can't even move that. We gotta get Norm out here with the forklift to pull that thing out. Bobcat, Norm. So, yeah, today's a good day for my friend Pete because that's two more cars and three more engines and four more transmissions and another pile of shit that's leaving my fucking property today. He's moving slowly, 
it, Norm! Tilt the car, Norm! Okay, he's not tilting the car. It might fall on him. Uh, I think the guy's mic is telling him what to do. Okay, here we go. So Norm has now unloaded one car using the Bobcat, the Bobcat Professional, Bobcat Pro in action right there. You're not going to see any better. It's a Tiger Woods day out here at SWRNC. We're getting home runs. We're getting uh, holes in ones. We're getting uh, a good golfing green action going on here with the Vega being loaded. Okay, so now we got to get these motors loaded. If Norm can get over here. Okay, that was a good Tiger Wood action job there, Norm. Can we go ahead and get the motors loaded yeah. the same way, real fast and easy? Yep. Okay. Hey, Mike, you want to get your uh, piece of plywood set up so you can put the motors on there? Oh, you want to get the other car on first? Well, we got to go all the way around the front and do that. Okay, uh, I guess we can roll the green car around. Now we'll just roll it around. Let's roll the green car around out here. That one has wheels. Okay. We're going to load the green one first, Norm. Uh, we don't need the forklift for that. We got uh, the Vegas are loaded. Mike's ready to roll down the road. He's ready to head. Where's this going anyway? Georgia? Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. And hopefully Keaton's going to send us some pictures of those. We don't know. But uh, we'll be making sure we get pictures of the finished product. And there she goes right there. It's a done deal. My friend Pete came through, did what he said he was going to do. Even though it was a nightmare and it was a hell of a deal. And the damn thing was here for eight fucking years. At least seven years, maybe six and a half. But uh, everything that was dropped off at this shop is now heading to Georgia to uh, be finished out and done. Uh, you got it, Mike? Okay, buddy. How are we looking on them pencils? I got to call find out. Okay. So when you get home, you going to call him? Yeah. Okay, buddy. I'll call you on Thursday, okay? All right. All right, Mike. Shake your hand. Let me get the... Sure. Make a friend. And yes, hopefully... Uh, Strayers hauling transport right here. Now do you go all over the United States and just the East Coast. So you go from where? Like from Texas up. Texas up. If you need hauling, give Mike a call. He's a, uh, what do they call you? LTL load or? Hot shot. Hot shot drive. Anything and everything that you can put on your trailer, you'll haul. Off this highway. Okay, buddy. Good luck, Matt. We'll see you later. All right, the Vega is now on the road, and it is gone. It's a done deal. See you later. Don't fucking come back and hit the road, Jack, and stay gone. My friend Pete says goodbye. Hasta la vista, and it's all over. The end.